All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to do the glitch effect in two different ways. Uh, this is gonna be a tutorial of both different ways and a free download link to one of the ways that we can pull this off. That's right, I'm gonna be showing you two different methods, whichever one's easier for you, whichever one works best. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so I've loaded up Premiere Pro, and yes, that is the program we're gonna be using today. However, you can watch this and take the kind of idea and apply it to any other program, okay? There's nothing really specific about this program, however, just it's a very easy program to use for everybody. So here we go. First off, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the clip that you are going to need to use. So for me, this is a clip that I recorded um, when I filmed the club on New Year's Eve. And basically this is just somebody behind the bar filling up a whole bunch of shots, like a shot tray to take out of people. Not that it matters. This is a, kind of a cool, cool, cool clip to uh, to do a little glitch effect on, the colors are changing if we just play it through, you know what I mean? I'm pretty much just following his hand while he fills up a whole bunch of shots. So, it really doesn't matter where you wanna do this. Of course, for your particular edit, do the effect wherever you need the effect. However, for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in and start making a couple cuts here, just uh, along where you'd wanna actually do the effect. So if we're gonna do the effect here, let's just go ahead and add a few just cuts, just keep doing every other frame and just do it for a few different ones so that you can basically chop and change each frame. So then once you've added a whole bunch of cuts simultaneously next to each other, you're gonna wanna go, uh, go ahead and just start deleting every other one. So actually it would help if we could do one there as well. So then we've got one and then two and then it comes back. So currently it's just gonna look kind of like a stroke, right? But kind of like a uneven stroke because of those two right there. But the actual way that we're gonna have to actually start making this look like it's a bit more of a glitch effect rather than just kind of like a flash or a strobe or whatever is actually by altering another layer of these clips here. So first off, you're gonna wanna do this right here and then you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and hold these single frames, click your clip, hold Alt and drag it up and that is just go ahead, going to duplicate that particular layer right there. And you're just gonna wanna head, uh, go ahead and do that for all of these, boom. So now we have three different slits and all the duplicated layers on the top. Then very simple, go ahead and select the top layer, go over to your effects and actually just start altering a couple things. So for example, the opacity, make the opacity 50 and then let's start dragging stuff around. So let's drag this a little bit different Right, the position, so of course it's 50 opacity, uh, but it's also not in the same position as it was before. So we'll bring that down and a little bit up. You know what I mean? Or mm, maybe not up. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that. So currently, if you were to play it, it looks uh, a little bit more like a glitch now. But of course we've only done that to the top layer. So then as we go on, just progressively do more and more weird stuff. So for this one, let's go ahead and make it 69 and then let's drag it down the other way. But for this one, let's go ahead and turn the exposure up a load and uh, also get the scale a little bit more, right? And even take it down to 49. So now we've got the second frame acting up. So look at that already. It's already kind of glitching everywhere. And this, yeah, you, you probably guessed it because I talked about this in the beginning, guys. This is going to be the first of two methods that I'm gonna show you how to do this. The first method, which is this one, of course, is just entirely in the program itself. And the second one is a download link for you guys, which is even easier than this. You don't even, you just have to drag it in pretty much. And uh, it kind of does itself. But currently we've done the two frames. So as you can see, that's, that's already looking pretty glitchy, pretty cool. For the third frame, we are going to want to go ahead and go over to the effects and type A. Here we go. Oh my God, Jesus. I, I've been trying to find that for like at least two minutes. You have to find this effect right here, the arithmetic effect. And this right here, once you've double clicked it, of course, on your clip, it will appear right here. And here is where things get cool. This is actually the, uh, the effect that you would use to do the RGB split. So here it's kind of blue. So I say we bring the green up a bit. That's a little bit too much. Oh, that's actually going a little bit crazy. Let's try the red. So if we increase the red by a nice amount, let's say we bring it up to about 100 and then get the blending mode on screen or the blending mode on overlay and uh, it looked better as screen. 
and then again, also do the, uh, the scale a little bit, just a little bit. Now it looks like we're gonna have something cool to deal with. So let's go ahead and watch this real quick. Oh, so right there, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just render that in and out real quick, just so you can see a picture perfect version of what it's gonna actually be looking like. Boom, let's, let's play it again. Let's play it again. Boom, already, that right there is a 100% free, easy to make glitch effect. You saw that we made it in a matter of minutes, and now I'm just gonna quickly move on to show you guys the second version of this particular glitch effect right here, which personally, I think is a lot cooler. However, it's also a lot easier and simpler, but it looks cooler and it's easier, I guess, for you. So maybe it's best of both worlds. Okay, so the second effect, guys, is actually gonna be uh, available for download, okay? So I'm gonna have that link down below in the comment section, or the description, rather. And essentially, I'm just trying to find it right now. <laughs> when you download this, guys, it will come with six different pre-made MOV files, which are essentially different glitch effects. Now, I did actually buy this. So I'm giving you guys stuff that I did pay, I think about 20 bucks for or something like that. I'm just gonna give it to you guys for free. Screw it, I can't even remember where I bought it from. It was uh, quite a while ago, to be fair. It is a variety, as you can see here, of different glitch effects that you, of, co of course, you can just apply to your videos and it is extremely easy. However, what this pack didn't come with is sound effects. So don't worry, I have included some set sound effects um, in this pack as well. If you were to download it, um, hold on, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to find it, but then bring it over. But yes, here it is, the top 10 glitch sound effects. I literally just ripped this off of the internet, so shout out to anybody if you're watching this and, and you're the creator, you know what I mean? But it's just a variety of different glitch sound effects, you know what I mean? So, stuff like that. Just various different glitches. Very, very cool, and essentially we can go back up to our glitch pre-made effects. So for example, I want um, to start off, let's go ahead and get this one. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna drag it over, just the audio, uh, just the video, of course. But I believe my clip is 4K, so I will actually have to just go ahead and make it 200, uh, just so it's the same thing. But I assume you guys will probably be just editing 1080p, so you won't have to do any of that nonsense with resizing it. But even if you do, you just go up here and double the size, because they're made for 1080p videos. Anyways, now that we've actually got that in, we're gonna wanna, head and, uh, wanna go ahead and actually set this up. So I need to bring my glitch if, uh, sound effects over, boom which actually I didn't even show you um, applied to this. Um, that would actually be cool if I showed you the glitch effects on that as well. But I guess we could do that at the end, hold tight. Okay, so now we've just done all of that other more advanced glitch stuff over there. Looks very cool, a little bit more technical with the tweaking of the different effects. This one compared to that last one is super, super easy. All you have to do is go ahead and line up um, your uh, thingamajig, your timeline sc scrubby thing uh, with the sound effect. Go ahead and just scroll through until you find a bit where it's glitching out nicely. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and just cut right here when it actually leaves, right? So boom, glitches, leaves, and then let's find another point, scrub through quick, where the glitch effect starts again. So clearly right there it started again. So we're just gonna wanna have, go ahead and take the first frame where it starts again. Oh, shit, <laughs> wrong thing. And go ahead and start that where the next bit of the sound effect starts. So now let's have a look at this real quick and see if it's looking good. Boom. And then, my bad, I forgot to do this. Just go ahead and stop the overlay where the sound effect ends. So now let's just go ahead and add an in and out point and go ahead and see if this has worked nicely with the render in and out. Boom, let's have a look. Boom, so very, very cool. Now also just to add a couple things, um, just to make it a little bit nicer, but already looks extremely cool that it's glitching out. However, the image itself isn't really reacting that well to it, okay? So my idea for this would probably be to go ahead and just alter the footage itself a little bit. So you see, when it actually goes glitchy here, we can leave that, but the next glitch, for example here, we could just cut out one or two frames, right? Boom, now we've got these two frames and just slightly alter these frames right here. 
just go ahead and just just do what we did before just just mix them around a little bit and just see what goes down maybe mess with the mess with the position mess with the scale a little bit just so just so it looks just a little bit strange now do them in quite abstract um, angles as well like just very different directions because for the clip only lasting uh, one frame, it's just gonna look like it jumped around a little bit. So let's now just have a little look at that now. Boom, already looks loads better. If we play it now, just from the beginning, render in and out. Boom, already looking amazing. Let's go ahead and play that one more time. Boom, looks absolutely professional. Really, really good and overall uh, very quick to do that effect right there. So if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, guys. And uh, I will have loads more videos like this. Leave me a comment down below telling me a video that maybe you'd like to see me do. And I really hope this uh, helped you guys out. Uh, download link down below for the second glitch effect, first glitch effect. Very easy. You can do it all on your own. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take it easy.